I got the RV back from the shop. And she is so beautiful. Now, she's not actually fixed. Like, the slides and the jacks still don't work. We had to order a new pump, a new well, a new motor, everything is just totally fried. Um, but it's gonna take a week or two for the parts to come in, so I thought I'd bring her home so I can do some work while we're waiting for the parts. A few little things were fixed, like they resealed everything and gave her a wash, she's so beautiful. Um, but I wanna show you the things that I want to do in the meantime. the main problems that I've dealt with since getting this is the sleeping situation. Nat and I are sleeping back in the master bedroom. It was important to us to have this separate space where we could do our meetings, our work. We needed our own separate space. And I know a lot of full-time RVers that do class A's the adults opt to sleep in the front because it's a lot easier to convert that back bedroom into a bunkhouse. And it really would be a lot easier. But we didn't want to do that, so I've been racking my brain for what we can do. Now, one thing I've thought about doing is turning the front into a loft bed. So it'd basically end up being kind of like a class C because I would put support bars from there to there and going across probably be supported on the dashboard there and there but i'd have to remove that whole thing and build this whole new structure it sounded like a lot of work this couch which came with it actually goes down 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 it goes down farther but we ended up having the two little girls sleeping there and we got this cot bunk which is really nifty but we got this cot bunk for the bigger kids I had the idea that I would set it up and put it away every day. That ended up being way too much work. The dinette was already gone when we bought it. So we ended up leaving this here permanently and then just getting a folding table and some stools for eating. Putting away the folding table and stools was a whole lot easier than putting away the bunk beds. But I want a more permanent solution because I want this to be an actual dining area and I want this to actually be able to be a bunk bed area. So here's my plan. I'm gonna take out this old ugly couch. There's this nice carpet under it and the kids love carpet and I'm going to remove those cupboards up there. I found that those cupboards over there are totally sufficient space for the games and books and things that we need. And this thing is a monster. It is gonna be so hard to take to take out. It is bolted down, bolted down in so many places and it is so heavy. So we'll see, so we'll see what I can accomplish here. I disconnected the power back here and hopefully be able to get that arm out and then I'll start on the other arm just piece by piece is the way to go I guess good wrist action and when I get tired I have a willing helper are you getting tired yes well we got it out guys and now there's just a big dirty carpet and a bunch of seat belts. So I realized that the back of the couch could be used as a backrest still. Ah. Yeah. It's pretty comfy down here actually. Yes. These are the only screws I can see are these top ones here. I mean, there's a layer between here and here where the electric cords run. I'm thinking that the rest of it is screwed in down there. So I have to remove these panels somehow. <laughs> I have no idea how this thing is attached. Let's see what I got here. Got my big flathead screwdriver. Get in there. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, go for it. You can do it. All right, we're getting it. Yeah. Okay, here's what's underneath. I lift it up, and we've got the electric cords for the lights, but there's all the screws that are holding it in place. 
that I need to get out. There is something holding this on besides all the screws I took out. What in the world is holding this thing up? Okay, so I started just <laughs> hammering it and it started to wiggle a little bit. So watch. Oh, see, it's wiggling. So I think it's actually just like glued up here, like super strong glue or something. I hope this doesn't fall on my head or on my arm or leg. Look at how it's peeling away slowly, slowly, but surely. Oh, 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 the top, the top is dead. That was some crazy, crazy glue holding it up there. It was glue. But man, that's, that is a lot more space up there for bunk beds. Ha! <sighs> Victory. I've decided to make a bench so that I can support the cot bunk we have and then the little girls sleep underneath and the two kids sleep on top. This is the beginning of my construction here. I'm gonna make it a two leveled storage bench for the dinette area. Nice little storage bench. Perfect size for the kids little cubby container things. <sighs> nice and nice and sturdy. Well, I didn't film myself doing this, so I apologize. I was just too in the moment, but I did it. Over here I have a bench with the cubbies. One is missing, but, and that is supported. Uh, it is supporting this bunk bed. It's okay, it's only supported on one side because it's pretty secure on the other side too. It's not gonna slide over. Got this supported on here, which is screwed into the wall, and then those planks are holding it in. And you got this cozy middle bed, which is, I think our oldest is gonna sleep there, and then our boy, who's the best at climbing, will be on the top bunk. And the two little girls will sleep on the bottom. And I actually had this other bench that I made a long time ago and I just kind of slapped it together with spare wood so it's not the best <laughs> craftsmanship but it happened to be the perfect size. So now I've got two wooden benches. Now all I need is a new table. And the next thing I'm going to do is try to make a cupboard up here. This whole area which Right now is a bunch of insulation and wires and it's gross. This is where the giant TV box went. This is a 2004, so it's before TVs were flat. And I might be able to use this cupboard. Here's what I have so far. It's not perfect, but it looks significantly, significantly better. Of course, when I paint it all, I don't really like this antique distressed look. It kind of just looks dirty to me. So I want to make it all like one solid color instead of this gross like brown. Definitely a good start. And it looks a hundred times better than it did. I think it's a hit. 